This is Leo Schofield. He's been incarcerated since 1987, having been convicted of killing his wife. The only problem is, there's a lot of evidence that he didn't do it, including repeated confessions by someone else who says that they are in fact the killer. And there have been so many issues about this case that Bone Valley Podcast decided to do a deep dive in which they uncovered even more inconsistencies and problems. Basically, he was waiting for his wife to show up after she had called and said she was on her way. And he waited, and he waited, and she never showed up, so he called the police. Her car and body were found a few days later, and as normally expected, they assumed it was the husband. There were also fingerprints on the car, but nobody decided to test those for whatever scientific reason, and so they went untested for years and years. Those fingerprints belonged to Jeremy Scott, who had already been convicted of multiple murders, armed robbery, and a number of other offenses. Yet, even though Schofield has declared his innocence from the beginning, and Scott has repeatedly admitted to murdering Schofield's wife, nobody seemed to care. And today, May 3rd, is Schofield's fourth parole hearing. It's his chance to possibly go home and start a second chance. It's just scary to think of how many times people are more interested in following the law or getting a conviction than actually finding out what happened. Because Schofield may not have been a great guy, but there's a lot of evidence that he had nothing to do with his wife's death, yet he is still sitting there more than 30 years later. And at what point do we start holding prosecutors accountable for refusing to look at their own biases, for refusing to address the obvious and glaring issues in the case?